here is a mid-age Eastern European woman came in with interesting root canals, pretty short, and a broken post looks like. So we decided not to do a retreat because uh, it looks like the post is pretty much on the side. You have some widened PDL here and uh, by the time we take the post out, uh, you might get involved with the PDL here. So I did Epico on that and this is a two-year recall. We're pleased with this case. Here's an interesting case. This guy is works at Target actually at my house. I saw him a few months ago and I said, well, you know, you, you got to get back in. <laughs> And uh, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he makes appointments and never shows up. <laughs> so he's been to his MD. He's been to his dermatologist. He's been to a few other doctors uh, just for a lump on his uh, skin. His skin is red, and he didn't know what was the problem. And so uh, finally, he was referred to his dentist. And uh, his dentist said, you know, go see his ended on it. So when he came in, I took a picture of this. This is all IRM and still some cavity under that IRM. And uh, as uh, far as you can see, the roots uh, very externally or epically resorbed. You can tell uh, from the length of the roots how far down the premolar is. And look at these uh, roots over here. And look at the molar. I mean, it's got resorption. It's got radiolucency. And he has a um, little lump on his skin. The lump on his skin is red and is, he doesn't know what to do with it. So he's been on antibiotics a few times and uh, no relief. This is uh, his chin skin looking and uh, he's got a, actually a fistula right here. Uh, so you can actually do a little poke and put a gutter percha in there and take a picture. <laughs> So finally, uh, we did the root canal. Uh, it's really tough cases that you know there's a lot of resorption going on. There's a lateral canal filled that there's four roots, and uh, I think that was a three months. This is four months, and finally we got a little bit of uh, healing on his skin. So he came back about six months to do a follow up, and he had a beard on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I really want you to, you know, I want to take, take a look at this lump here, you know, and uh, you have a beard on, come on. Uh, so if he, he promised he's going to go back, shave it, and come back, and uh, he never did. So this is his uh, six months. This is 07. I saw this case, uh, some cavity on the buckle and this still, there's some radiolucency. This is my working lamp. When I was taking this picture, I kind of noticed that maybe I should bring this up. As far as this case goes, it's a really difficult case to handle because of my access, my, open, my uh, access opening. If you take a look at my working length here, you can see that it's not a straight line angle. I mean, I'm coming this way, going around, and coming back this way. It's like a, more like a S-shape canal. So due to, I urge you to uh, make a straight line access opening as far as teeth go. There's another case I'm going to show you also. And um, so straight line access makes prevent a lot of file separations. So it could easily break this file. But I didn't. So thank God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a follow up. And this is a two year recall on that. You can also tell from uh, restorative work, you can see that it's some food impaction area in the distal of the crown, but I was happy with the healing there.